Hey everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. If you've been around my channel for a little bit, you know that I got a calendar uh, January 1st that talks about um, odd holidays that happen every single day of the year. So looking at my calendar for March, which by the way is National Noodle Month, I don't know. Uh, for March 1st, it's Peanut Butter Lover's Day. So if you love peanut butter, today's your day. Yeah, there's some strange ones on here. Anyways, let's get into today's video for the ATC Swap Group. If you are not uh, familiar with this, each uh, month we do a swap for the Art Sherpa ATC Swap, artist training card for those of you who do not know what ATC stands for. I'm a part of the design team and we have a lot of other great design team members for the Art Sherpa, including the Art Sherpa. Make sure to look down in the description of my video. It has all the links to their social media links and their videos and their everything that happens. So make sure to go check out all of their great videos on this month's theme, which is, I have to look it up because I forget what it is, Meaningful Color. <laughs> I knew it had something to do with color. Anyways, Meaningful Color. So this ATC you're gonna make for this month is somehow related to a meaningful color. For me, that color is blue. It's my favorite color. It's the color of the sky. It's the color of everything that I own, pretty much. I'm very attracted to the color blue, so it's a meaningful color because I love it so much. So today's ATC incorporates that blue color, and it was just kind of an experiment to see what I could do, really. I, I don't know. I may end up making another ATC this month that celebrates either blue again or uh, uses a different color or maybe a blend of colors in it. But for today's project, I just kind of wanted to experiment and play with the color blue and with some new products that I got. So let's go ahead and check out how I put this month's ACT together. I'm gonna be starting off today with some Strathmore Bristol paper in this artist trading card sized cut. Um, I'm not exactly sure where you can get these. I got this one from the Art Sherpa, uh, but I'm sure if you look many different places, you'll be able to find it. So it's a great smooth paper, especially if you're using it for ink blending, like with Distress Inks or Distress Oxides. Uh, Bristol paper works really well for that. I'm not gonna be doing any ink blending, I don't think, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the first layer. The first application process that I'm going to be doing is I have some of this really reflective silver material. It's a tissue paper, I should say. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into a smaller piece so that way it fits over uh, my ATC. And then once I get this um, cut out, I'm going to use some multi-medium mat uh, from Ranger and I'm gonna coat the surface with this and then kind of applique my piece on top of that. So we're gonna see how this turns out. A lot of times whenever you use multimedia matte, it turns your tissue paper kind of clear, which I'm kind of hoping for. I don't know, this is gonna be a process that I don't know what's gonna happen. It's me kind of experimenting and playing around. So let's, let's see what happens. While this is drying, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to another experiment. I have some leftover Lumi Inco film. This is what you used to use when you did Inco dye. Inco dye kind of came in and went out, and I really haven't seen a revival of it um, since it was first introduced a couple of summers ago. Uh, but it used to be able to like do sunlight ink projects with it. Uh, but unfortunately, like I said, I don't think they're around anymore. So I'm gonna use some of this film uh, and see if I can do something kind of cool with it. I'm gonna be stamping on it today with some stays on ink that I think will give us an interesting kind of layer to this. As you can see, it's not clear film, but it does, um, it is transparent. So that way, oops, I got two sheets here. Um, that way you can see through it. And I think if my idea works, it should give us an interesting effect. I don't know, this may or may not work. Um, I believe one of the sides is textured. 
but I can't really tell which side it is. But anyways, so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use my one of my favorite stamp sets from Tim Holtz and uh, I think we'll use the cat image today. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping on it with some stays on ink in this royal purple color. And this is as close to the blue as I could get. So we'll see how this, it, I, I suspect it'll probably look blue-ish, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna pull out my stamp platform so that way if I need to restamp, I can. And we'll stamp onto my sheet. Okay, so there we go. There's my little stamped animal and you can kind of see through it. The reason I use the stays on ink as the name implies, it stays on to whatever surface that you're applying it to. And since this is not a typical surface that a stamp would normally go on to, uh, I wanted to stamp it onto here so it ensures hopefully that the image will stay on even though it's on a plastic. So I'm gonna set this aside, let it dry, and then we'll see how this all works out. This is mostly dry. It needs a little bit more time, especially in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and just cut off the excess tissue paper. It's nice because um, I just kinda of have to run my scissors across the edge and pretty much uh, that's all it needs. The, the paper kinda of tears off on its own. I think I wanna bring in a little more color of um, the color that this whole video is about. So I'm gonna use a little blueprint sketch and just kind of um, bring it on the outside of my piece just to kind of bring that color in a little bit. Okay, so the next product that I'm gonna be using is these Nuvo embellishment mousse it says it adds metallic dimension details to your craft project i have never used this before i bought this on a whim just because i could and you're gonna watch me stumble my way through this i've gone ahead and opened it up and honestly on the inside it does not look very pretty at all but i'm hoping that uh this will add some cool texture to my uh atc and I'm going to use a, uh, a uh, stencil here by Tim Holtz. And this is the, what is this one? It's a uh, Clockworks. It's from uh, Stan <laughs> Stampers Anonymous. This is the Clockworks, which is THS013. For those of you who want to try and find this, uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to end up putting this. I think that might be pretty good right there. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe there? Maybe something like that. I'll get it figured out. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tape my stencil down so that way I it doesn't shift as I'm applying onto my piece. Okay, whenever you're working with a, um, oh wow, this is not a very pretty product, that is for sure. Um, I kind of feel like this one may have been dried out. It, it's supposed to be kind of like uh, the consistency of like uh, icing. Um, and this one seems very clumpy and chunky and uh, I'm not so sure how this is going to work out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of it and apply it to the surface of my ATC and we'll try to smooth it out as best as we can. Okay, I definitely did not get the um, smooth application that I was looking for. Uh, we'll see how this works and what it looks like whenever we pull the stencil off. And for those of you who are eagle-eyed, yes, you would notice that I was using the Art Sherpa palette knife. I absolutely love using this palette knife to do uh, some embellish embellishment paste like this. 
Uh, I'm just not so sure about this paste. Uh, I feel like I may have gotten a bad batch, but maybe that's what it's like. I don't know. We're, we'll take a look. And it's getting all over my fingers now. Awesome. Uh, anyways, what's a little art without getting a little messy, right? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna take this off, and then once I reveal it, I'm gonna go get um, this washed off, because as you know, texture paste uh, if you leave it on, it's like permanent and it never comes off. So I'm gonna try and get this cleaned up as soon as possible. So that way, oh, that was, okay, all right, that's not bad, I think. Uh, <laughs> let me get this all cleaned up and we'll we'll move on to our next step. I just realized that the um, autofocus was on, um, so some of that may have been blurry. I apologize about that. I always try to remember, but sometimes I forget to turn it back to manual focus. Anyways. My piece is drying over here, and while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. It looks like it is dry, and so um, there's no defined edge on this piece, so um, you kind of can cut whatever, whatever way you really want to. I'm gonna test this really quick and make sure yeah, it's dry. It's not going anywhere. So this is going to work out perfectly. Uh, I'm not exactly going to fussy cut it, but I'm not going to like leave it so uh, willy-nilly. I don't know. Uh, we'll kind of cut it out and see what happens and what form it takes whenever I get it all cut out. I am uh, honestly scared to touch this. I don't know how dry this is. Oh, it feels... Is it dry? No, it's coming off still a little bit. So it is not dry yet. Um, apparently this Nouveau paste takes a little bit longer. Um, oh, if I had read the directions it would have said, it says add water to soften to the consistency of mousse. Okay, well, should have done that, but that's okay, not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna still let it dry a little bit more, I think, or I might just stick this down as the glue that kind of holds this piece on. I don't want it, I, I, here's the hard part. Since this is tr clear and transparent, um, I can't hide any of the glue whenever I put it on. So maybe if I stick it into the paste, it might, um, might help it stay on. Cause this mousse or any texture paste, whenever you're using texture paste, the moment you apply it, um, or in, anytime it dries, I should say, um, it will dry to a very, very thick and, um, what am I trying to say? Basically, whenever you use texture paste, it will dry, uh, very hard and acts like a very strong glue. So maybe if I kind of smush it down into the texture paste and it dries, that might, um, keep it on. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, it, it appears that this is actually more dry than I thought. Um, it is still kind of coming up a little bit, but I think I'm going to maybe try and apply a little bit of glue. I'm gonna use some uh, art glitter glue and just it kind of hide it in some strategic points on the back here, uh, so that way I can get this glued down. Okay, I've added some very small dots of glue. I know that was out of focus, but uh, tried to add a few, just a few dots um, to kind of keep this down. I'm gonna add a acrylic block or two on top to keep it from going anywhere. And I'm just gonna let it sit like that. Uh, I'm gonna cut off the edges whenever they're dry, whenever the glue is dry, and then I'll um, hopefully then be done. Okay, the glue is mostly dry on the front, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and do a little chopping off on the sides here to cut off the extra um, acetate that is hanging over the edge, just so that everything is nice and clean. And there we go. 
there is my ATC for this month. So I had a lot of fun experimenting with that Nouveau paste and I did end up watering it down a little bit. Just FYI, I kind of sprayed it with my spritzer so that way next time I go to use it, it will be less chunky and more creamy. So hopefully that'll make it a lot easier for me to use. We'll see. Also, I love how it came out using the um, acetate to kind of give you a window back behind and I, I don't know it's just it's cool I like how it came out and I hope my recipient likes it by the way if you would like to be in the running to get this ATC you have to become a member of the ATC swap group um, it is a paid membership but that paid membership just goes to help pay postage for international users of the ATC swap it doesn't go to anything else it's just to make sure that those international people can actually participate if you want to participate, you create an ATC for this month, send it in an envelope down to the ATC swap address. It's listed down in the description below and make sure to send a loose stamp to go along with it. So that way you can get one back. Uh, and if you join that ATC group, you don't have to do that. You don't have to include that stamp. Uh, you can also send up to two ATCs. Although if you send more, it, it, it's kind of okay uh, down to the ATC swap group and uh, they'll get that all taken care of and swap it around and send it around to whoever ends up getting it and if you're a member of the ATC swap group you can get one of the design team members swaps ATC swaps can I say ATC anymore <laughs> that's a lot of information it probably is confusing because I don't know how to say things correctly down in the description has the link go check out the website I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, let YouTube know that you like my video, and then hopefully YouTube will share it across YouTube land. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, hit that button down below that says subscribe. And if you're not already subscribed, why aren't you? I kind of like my videos, and I think you do too. Hit that subscribe button, and then click that bell notification icon that turns on notifications, so that way you know when I either post a new video or go live right here on YouTube. And of course, if you have any questions about the ATC swap group or any questions about ATC in general or anything that I'm doing, you can always leave me a comment down below. You can also leave your love for my video down there in the comments. I love reading your comments, whether it is questions or telling me about what you liked about my video or anything else. Leave any comments you have down there in the comment section. I think that's enough craziness for today. I hope everybody has a great day. And remember guys, normal is just a setting on the dryer. Bye.